Hello. Today um, I'm starting off to do a pinch pleat curtain. Now I've looked on my um, comments today, and um, Colin, thank you for your thank you first of all for watching my video, and I hope you do continue watching them. Uh, and uh, thank you for your comment. Um, the, now the video is out of focus. Every now and then when I'm not paying attention to the video, it's supposed to readjust itself and focus. But, that's the early stage, um, but the video is four years old as well. And what I do know is that the videos that we put up from Gone Gordo's when they slightly go funny colouring and go like oldish looking. And I do have some videos up there which is around seven years old. So I'm sorry about that. Anyway, lucky for you, I'm making another curtain, which is pinch pleat curtains as well. So I started this one today and I'm not going to bore you with all the boring part, just the best parts. And as you see on my table, I've started with the lining as I usually do. And um, what I do is I read it all out. So I've got eight layers of, of fabric here for my curtain, for the lining. And what I do is I mark each part. So I've marked out the lining I do at four inches. And the, uh, the hem, that's the M. And the hem of the curtain itself I do at six inches. So that some people in the past says, oh, well, she doesn't use a tape measure or she doesn't use a ruler. What I do when I need to, when I don't need to, I just find a way that it just automatically works it out. So when you put two inches on top of a three inches, it leaves a one inch gap. So everything's lined up nice and easily. When we went to college and learn it, we used to do two inches on two inches and then you had to work out moving it up to leave a one inch gap at the bottom. Well, you don't need to do it this way. So the, the, the bottom of the curtain, um, the main fabric is six inches. So that I've got a three inch heel, <laughs> sorry, a three inch hem. And this one is cut four inches and now I've got a four inch hem so there it is and I love to do it this way first as well and pin them so that when I join the seams together um, these are already nicely lined up and nice and straight so do you get my meaning you get my point so it's like shortcuts get all of them done, get them ready, instead of stitching them all up, lining it up on the table and doing a hem four inches or whatever you want to do. This is just a tip. Okay, what I've done as well is that the drop of this curtain is 135 centimeters, which is roughly 53 inches, I think it is, thereabout. So what I've done to double, to make sure I've knit the top of the, the fabric to make sure that I've got the length of my curtain. But don't forget, I've got to take away um, one inch drop here. So I've knit the top, which should have been at, um, knit to at, if it's 30, 53, should be 52. Uh, and then, I know that I've got enough and then up the top of the curtain I've got a six inch turnover now that six inch turnover when you will see later on you can do a lot with that six inches you could um, your six inches on your main curtain which is turned over like that your six inches on your lining which is turned over like this and then you put the two together and then this lining hides the fabric that's underneath. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is you've got both six inches. What we do is we put the two together, curve it over, both of them goes over, and then stitch it down. Those are two ways of doing it. Another way of doing it is bagging the whole thing out, which is to me, uh, that's um, shop make, bagging out technique. But this is bespoke, bespoke curtain. Okay, so you will see this, but this is just to let you know that this curtain is coming. So this is just a quick video to say, I've started. Thank you for watching and you'll see more. I'll put the link up later when I've done it.
So as you can see now, all eight are done, all of them. And all I have to do now is, before I stitch the side up, I stitch, before I stitch the hem up, I will stitch along the side, open the seams out, and then stitch these later on. And that's that done. And that's exactly how I do it. And each one of these are nice and straight. And even the stitching on top is straight as well. Because I've done them in section before I do the whole lot. Hmm? Get it? Get the picture?